Okay guys, we're starting with a floral vase. This is a vase that I got flowers in. So I just, when the flowers were dead, I cleaned it up, make sure it's nice and clean. Just washed it with soap and water and let it dry. And now we are going to use our mosaic nippers to cut around the top to make kind of circular or um, do, uh, domed kind of shapes, okay? So they're not gonna be flat, All right? So first I'm just gonna come in and I am gonna squeeze. And you can see that it makes, it's cutting it around and not down. So it's making that curved shape. And we're just gonna keep going all the way around. Make sure you have eye protection. You should have on gloves so you don't cut yourself, unlike myself, who's crazy. And we're just going to go around and around and around the vase. So I can show you this. If you are going in narrow, it's gonna cut a smaller piece. If you kind of point in towards the bottom a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit bigger. So however far you point your angle of your uh, nippers in, you're gonna get a bigger piece. So I want some bigger ones. So I'm gonna point towards, not like this, but a little bit, bit more towards the middle of the vase to get some bigger pieces and we are going to just keep on going until we are done so just keep on keeping on then i will show you how to color these pieces with spray paints I'm just going to keep on I'm just going to do the whole vase getting kind of thicker as it gets towards the bottom. So they're gonna be a little bit harder to cut. Make sure you're using all precautions. Notice I'm in a plastic bin with paper on the bottom. So there's all of these little teeny slivers of glass are going into the paper. I'll be able to just pick up my pieces as I go through them, I'll hone the sharp points on each one, separate the honed ones from the not honed ones, and then we'll take them all out of here and paint them. So these usually have some really sharp points on them. So take all precautions, wear gloves, and eye protection. Mm. Woo! That one flew and actually hit a piece of glass hit my leg. Woo! Almost there. A little more difficult towards the bottom because it's starting to get, oops, see it's shattered a little bit too. Actually, it's not quite as thick as it was in the middle. Just, it's really thin down at the very bottom. I don't know if you can see how thin that is compared to the middle. Look at the difference in the thickness. So the bottom is really super thin. I'm actually going to get what I can and then I just throw this away. You can just nip it and, you know, use the bottom for something else, but I don't normally like how it's shaped and it almost always has little ridges on it. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna nip all the edge off. Got a 
sticker on it too. So we can go ahead and just, mm, super thick. Don't waste any of it. Voila, done. That was a little big. All right, so that is an entire vase. I'm gonna hone these using, you can use a brick or you can use a, this is like a, um, a stone, honing stone or a knife sharpener. So I'm gonna push everything over. I'm gonna get that out. Everything over to one side. Don't do this with your bare hands. And I'm gonna hit the high points or the point it pointed ends and just move them. I need my gloves on. Just move them to the other side so you know what's honed and what isn't. You can use a brick, the concrete the sidewalk, a honing stone. You can get these on Amazon or go to the dollar store and look for a knife sharpener gonna be the same material. Get those sharp points off and when we come back we're gonna tint them for art. So I'll see you then.